Right, so today we we're going to be removing the turbo from a Daihatsu Copen. Um, like I said in my last video, remove the front end. Make sure you go to a garage and remove the AC gas before you remove the front end. Um, it can be quite dangerous. So let's crack on with the turbo. It's not a big job. Um, it's, it's quite an easy job. So if you just follow the reference, we'll run through it. So we're going to start off with this bolt here after removing all the cat. So we're going to take this bolt out of the way which is this pipe right here. And then we're gonna loosen this bolt on the top of the actual turbo pipe. I'll just change the sockets over. So we're gonna take this bolt right out the top. You do wanna be keeping these bolts. So just make sure you put them to one side and remember where everything goes. Right, we're gonna come down to this bottom bolt at, for the same pipe and we're gonna remove that one as well so it may be a bit tight but if you've got the right equipment and then we're able to remove that feed pipe so keep that to one side so it is important that you know where everything is right next we're going to undo the two 10 mils which attach to this pipe and it leads right underneath into a rubber pipe so he say nope we're not getting very far with that are we so someone's already had a go at this by the looks of it um, so I believe this may have had another turbo since its lifetime right so like i said we've removed both of these um, some of the bolts can be a pain so number one make sure you've got your socket on the bolt properly if it does start to round off like you did see with that one then just bash it on with a hammer and try and get it off that way so as you can see now this pipe is loose it is attached to a rubber pipe underneath but we're gonna push this pipe back off and then we're going to pull this away. It's not as he easy as people say, because obviously the pipe has probably been on there for some time. So we'll pull it away. As you can see, there's the rubber pipe. Rubber and metal over time, heat, cold, heat, cold, they do stick to each other. So just pull that out of the way. You will get a bit of water, nothing really major to worry about. You might get a bit wet. So just put that to one side also. Let that drain out. So next we're gonna take off the clip at the top. So you can use your fingers for this. The clips aren't very tight, but like I say, with the, with the rubber, they are pretty tight. This one's pretty easy and it does come off straight away. So you can leave that attached to the turbo itself. And you do also have another pipe to the left of the turbo which feeds off of this little pipe here so like i say again you can do that with your fingers the clips aren't very hard um, you might have some trouble with the rubber on the actual pipe itself if you do this one is fairly stiff but like i say if you get some pliers and lever it down it will come off there you go so that's loose and that's loose now for the main turbo itself all all it is to take it away from the manifold obviously I recommend to keep the gaskets unless you know where you can get some gaskets this one is pretty decent no cut on this even though it's been used um, I would use that again so now we're gonna get a spanner 12 mil I believe so you've got one bolt at the top one bolt down here and then one bolt underneath so like i say somebody's already been at this because the bolts are loose um really if you're going to do a job do it properly and also there is one bolt missing from underneath here which should have a 12 millimeter bolt you see how easy that was i haven't touched this before um but like i say if you're going to do turbo this one's pretty tight so undo that bolt as well if you want you don't have to use it a 12 mil spanner but recommend to use a step down spanner um, with this bolt here you can actually 
put it onto an extension bar to save you a bit of time, save you a bit of effort, and just unbolt it there. Now, last of all but not least, two 10mm bolts. 10mm bolts underneath the turbo itself, if you come down, you can see one there, and there's one right at the back. Now, we're going to undo these 10mm bolts, that's if I take the nut out of the 10mm socket itself. Just bear with me. And we'll start on taking these off. So, like I said before, you need to get yourself some decent tools, and some bolts will be tight, but you just persevere, and they will come off. Um, it's not a bad job. A bit messy, and a lot of bolts, so just categorise the bolts where they go. And like, like I said before, someone's definitely been at this turbo. If you're going to do a job, like I said before, do it properly. This bolt is already loose, so I'm going to take my gloves off because my hands are a bit wet. And I should, as you can see right there, I'm undoing that with my fingers. Come on, people. If you don't know what you're doing, don't touch the cars. Or take it to a reputable garage. Most of these garages now are just flyby. So... With all that undone, so just to reiterate, so you've got a bolt there, which leads from the pipe. You've got the three bolts, which attach to the manifold. You've got the banjo bolt on top. You've got the two 10 mil bolts there. You've got two 10 mil bolts underneath. And then you've got two pipes, which you need to disconnect. Now, once you've disconnected, and there you go. That is turbo removal. This turbo has being reconditioned by the looks of it so it is in pretty good condition I know it's in good condition it just hasn't been fitted properly um, could have been a catastrophe but like I said we drove this car for two hours and it's absolutely fine so yeah thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video